facts and fixtures. This is what I like to call wedding couple true or false. How you play, you guys don't need, you know all the answers, so you gotta take a step. No, no, you gotta play. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta leave, you know. Like, yeah, you, you think it's, you think it's all about you, you know. <laughs> Actually, you, there's a lot of questions you can play, so obviously not the ones about yourself. All right, so here's how it works, folks. Wedding couple, true or false? How you play the game is simple. All you have to do is, if you think the answer is true, put your hands on your head. So let's practice that. Do you think it's true? Put your hands on your head. Fantastic. If you think the answer is false, you put your hands on your butt. So the answer is false. What do you do? Fantastic. So close. You're a real mode, aren't you? Wow. All right. So, and if you if you do get the answer wrong, you take a seat. You can still play, but you're just not in it. Now, the winner for tonight, the person who wins the game, wins Ben's car. It's, it's my, it's very generous. It's for... It, it, Mate, guys, it's a, it's a fantastic car. <laughs> guys, I can tell you, it's a full... 400,000 miles, uh, kilometers on it. It's a manual. It's, uh, it had, the logbook hasn't been done in like six years. All right, it's a great car. It's a great car. <laughs> and it runs off leaded as well, so there you go. All right, so first question is, this is an easy one. Or maybe it's, an, I don't know. Um, actually, no, I'm going to make it an easy one. Okay. <clears throat> Alison and Ben want to have more than two children. That question again. Alice and Ben want to have more than two children. True or false? Three, two, one. If you weren't paying attention during the shoe game, the answer is false. So if you got it wrong, sit down and you're like the you're like the worst friends ever. Isabel. Next question. Well, that's to, tonight. Well, it's. Look, what Ben's trying to say is it doesn't work anymore. So. <laughs> it doesn't work, it's done. It's just, yeah, it's, it's like a gun with blanks. All right, so moving on. Another one about these guys. Let's do another question about them. <clears throat> ben put the engagement ring on Alison's left hand when proposing. Ben put the engagement ring on Alison's left hand when proposing. Three, two, one. Time's up. The correct answer is false. He put it on the wrong hand. Do you know the best part is? There are so many people still stood up. <laughs> so there's a lot of people who are like... <laughs> Why did you say false? I'm asking, I'm asking, why'd you say, why'd you say false? He said, I put it on the left hand. Why did you say false? <laughs> Such a Ben thing to do. All right. Here's one about uh, general uh, weddings. Every year, Hawaii, USA is the most popular destination for weddings. That one again. Every year, Hawaii, USA is the most popular destination for weddings. True or false? Three, two, one. Time. The correct answer is false. Yeah, it's actually, uh, it's actually Las Vegas. They have uh, 100,000 weddings a year. Just don't know weddings, man. Toby, jeez. All right, let's see. He wants the car. <laughs> He's trying to win the car back. All right. Let's do another one about these guys. Uh, Disney's Frozen. <laughs> was the first movie Allison and Ben saw together. Disney's Frozen was the first movie Ben and Allison saw together. Three, two, one. Decide the correct answer is true. Look, look. It, it really turned... I'm sorry I have to do this, but it turns out that uh, he couldn't let it go after all, so... 
<laughs> sorry. Just it wrote itself. I'm sorry. Oh, you're still up? Damn. All right, let me find a question that you really should know about your parents. So. Oh, family, family. Auntie, your auntie, sorry. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, let's do Courtney. Where's Courtney? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Okay. Courtney introduced Allison and Ben to each other. True or false? Courtney introduced Alan, Allison and Ben to each other. Three, two, one, time. The correct answer was true. So who we got left? Oh, it's true, it's true, yeah, you're fine. So who we got left? One, two, three, four. This is going on quite a while. Like I've got a lot of questions. All right. Oh, this is such a good one. Alison said no. Alison said no. The first, and she says it a lot. <laughs> That's why they only got two kids. Uh, Alison said no the first time the groom asked her for a date. That one again. <laughs> Alison said no the first time the groom asked her for a date. Three, two, one. The answer is true. No. How many times did you have to actually ask? Three times. Oh, right. That's like stalker level. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, let's ask one that's about weddings. More? No, no, let's do that one. The original meaning, the original meaning of the word bride was just cook. So the question is, the original meaning of the word bride was just cook. Wow. Three, two, one. Well, then you don't win the car, then, do you? <laughs> I'm going to give you last chance. Last chance. I'm going to... Sure, man. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the answer is... It is true. I know that answer. So, uh, okay. No, they, they both got it wrong, but I'm going to do another question because I want to get one winner. So stand up again. Stand up again. All right, all right. But yeah, here we go. So brides out there, well, you, you know what it means. Man, so. I don't know. That's just, that's just fact. That's what Google says. Um, I'm actually surprised too. I'm surprised. All right. So, Alison and Ben first met at a Latin dance class. Alison and Ben first met at a Latin dance class. Three, two, one. The answer is false. They actually met at Soho Nightclub, which closed seven years ago, I checked. Seven years? Seven years ago now. I know, right? <laughs> okay, brides and grooms in Denmark would traditionally dress up as each other to confuse evil spirits. Brides and grooms in Denmark would traditionally dress up as each other to confuse evil spirits. Three, two, one, decide. False. You look like a false. The correct answer is true. Hang on, hang on. She's still in. Come on over. Come to the front. Come to the front. And come, come to the front for me. All right, so we got Ava. How old are you, Ava? 11. You have to think about that for a second. Okay. Okay. What I want you to okay. I want you to, I want you to stand here for me and face towards that light. Okay. Great. And who? What's your name again? Kirsty. Kirsty. How old are you, Kirsty? I'm kidding. Come on. You should forget how old you are too. All right. Stand back to back. Face that light. 
It's just so you can't cheat and look at each other and stuff. Okay. Don't look. All right. You got the table. All right. Here we go. So, <clears throat> the wedding cake tradition originated from Italy, where they used to break a loaf of bread over the bride's head for good luck. That one again. The wedding cake tradition originated from Italy where they used to break a loaf of bread over the bride's head for good luck. Three, two, one. The answer is true. Well done. Good job. Fantastic. All right. All right. Turn around. You guys are good though. You're very smart. I like that. The traditional color for brides to wear in China is gold. The traditional color for brides to wear in China is gold. Okay. You sure about your answer, Ava? It's your last chance to change it. <laughs> last chance to change it. You hope you're wrong? You sure? Ladies and gentlemen, the answer is false. It, it actually is red. You did say red. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for our two winners for tonight. Well done. Okay, you, go, you both get the car and you can drive it in like 11 years, so.